Fort Myers Beach, known for its teal blue waters and seaside buildings, is now a place of desolation. Homes have been destroyed after Hurricane Ian slammed into the island. Amid the wreckage, Task Force 2 members have stayed to help authorities find people who remained there during the storm. Ignacio Carroll is a member on the team. What we have learned is that in that period, getting people out there it get, kind of increases the, the chances of survival tremendously. The other thing that we also recognize is that people tend to have you know, um, supplies for 72 hours. There's no telling when they started using those supplies even during the storm. Carroll says his team has to move fast to help survivors. We want to get to those that have um, run out of medication. Uh, those who may be trapped in their homes because of the debris. We try to either get them out or to check on their well-being. And don't want to wait for daylight. You want to start hitting the ground running as soon as it's safely possible. Officials have set up a base camp with mobile showers and portable toilets while taking shifts on finding more survivors. Around 361,000 homes and businesses were still without power in Florida on Tuesday, and a risk modeling firm in the U.S. says insurers should brace for a hit of $57 billion in storm damages. An official death toll is yet to be confirmed. Many fear it could take years to rebuild their homes again.